Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another Madden 18 video. Uh, today, I'm not going to do a gameplay. I'm just going to do my week 4 predictions. Um, and up first, we have the Texans and the Titans. Uh, for now, I think the Texans are going to win by at least 2 points. Um, and the Titans are... They're okay. I mean, they're not that great. Um... But, yeah, I think they're, they'll win by two points. Um, up next, we're going to have, um, let's see here. DeAndre Hopkins has at least seven receptions. Yeah, I think uh, Hopkins will have definitely have at least seven receptions. So, we're going to go with True here. We're going to add that into the set. And um, up next, we are going to have... Mm -hmm. Man, this game just... The loading is ridiculous sometimes. The Jaguars and Jets. Um, the Jaguars win by at least four points. Definitely, um, the Jaguars have been uh, beating everybody as of late. So we're gonna go with the Jaguars here and um, let's see what the set is. Uh, Jermaine Curse has at least one touchdown. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I think he will have. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with balls. I don't think he'll have any touchdowns. Um, so up next we have the Panthers and the Patriots. Um, the Patriots are good and so are the Panthers, so I'm going to go with false. I don't think they'll win by more than 9 points. It'll be a close game, but the Patriots will definitely pull it off. So, let's see what the other thing is. Brady has at least 3 combined and rushing touchdowns. Oh yeah, he'll definitely have 3 uh, passing touchdowns. Let's be real here. He ain't going to be rushing for no touchdowns. And if he does, I'll be surprised. Uh, so, I'm going to go with Tom Brady there. Three uh, touchdowns. Up next, we have the Lions and the Vikings. Um, the Vikings, uh, they're not that great. So, we're going to go with the Lions here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Vikings, balls, yeah, definitely. So, Case okay, Keenum has at least two passing touchdowns and no interceptions. Um, I think here we're definitely going to go false because, you know, Case Keenum isn't that great. If he gets the two touchdowns, I mean, even though, even if he does, he uh, there's, not, there's no way he's going to go without throwing an interception. So, um, up next we have the Bills and the Falcons. Falcons win by at least nine points. I think that is true. The Bills are not that great, so even though they are coming off a win, I believe. So up next, uh, the Falcons has at least two sacks. Um, I believe so. Uh, the Falcons have a pretty good defensive line, so we're gonna go with True here. So let's see what we have next. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have the Steelers and the Ravens. These games are always really close. So the Steelers win by three. Uh, nah, I don't think it'll be that close, but yeah, they'll at least win by three, so we're going to go with true here. Um, if you guys agree with my picks, if you guys disagree, uh, let me know down below and let me know why. Um, I'm just going with these picks off the top of my head. I mean, I've been paying attention to uh, football, but I guess not that much, so. Uh, Flacco, let's see what was that. Um... Well, Flacco have at least 300 yards. Nah. Browns at Bengals. Um, the Browns, I think they're both, both these teams are 0-3. But the Bengals have been playing pretty bad. So, we're going to go with the Browns. Because the Browns have, you know, a lot more potential. So, we're going to go with false there. So, next we have Andy Dawn has 300 plus uh, passing yards. Um... Yeah, I think he'll have the passing yards, definitely, but I ain't gonna win. Um, you know, yards don't always equal to wins. So, up next, we have Rams at Cowboys. This is gonna be, um, uh, I don't know, this is a toss-up, but I'm gonna go with uh, the Cowboys here. They're gonna definitely win by more than 9 points, considering the Rams gave up 41 points to my 49ers. I mean, 39 so, 
Des Bryant has only six receptions over 100 yards. Um, ah, man, I don't know. Um, I think he will. He definitely will. I mean, um, Des Bryant has been playing pretty good. So, yeah, it looks like I was debating there. Um, the reason why uh, the audio is kind of off is because I recorded the audio with the Elgato at first and the audio was complete and utter trash so I'm just talking over from what I chose earlier so basically I'm doing two um, two commentaries so Eagles win by at least two points I don't think so I mean the Eagles have been playing really good but I mean you can't you can never count out Phillip Rivers and Keenan Allen so we're gonna go with the Chargers there Let's see uh... Getting out has at least seven receptions and one touchdown. Uh, I don't know, you know, that's a toss up, so I'm gonna go with balls. I don't think you'll have that many. Even though, you know, the Chargers are really pass heavy team. So here we got the Giants and the Buccaneers. The Giants are 0 3 and are complete trash. We know they got Brandon Marshall and OBJ. But here I'm gonna have to go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here. And I think the challenge was Jameis Winston having 300 plus uh, passing touchdowns. I mean, passing touchdowns, passing yards. No, he's not. I don't think he, he'll have 300. I mean, he might have the touchdowns, but uh, not the yards. So, up next, we have. Man, I wish it would just start at the top the Cardinals at the 49ers. Uh, this is a tough one. Cardinals win by at least two points. Um, no. So, uh, I think I'm going to choose the 49ers here. I think we're going to win. Um, Carson Palmer is complete trash. Um, if we can get some pressure on him, he's just going to go down and throw interceptions. Look at this challenge. Carson Palmer has no interceptions. Yeah, he's definitely going to throw some picks. Uh, we've been playing, I think we've been playing a lot better than our record says. So, yeah, we have I have our team winning there. Even a lot of people don't think the Niners are going to do anything this year. I mean, they're not. You know, I think they're, they'll get a, a good uh, draft pick next season. Well, anyways, next, on to the next game, we have the Raiders and the Broncos. Broncos win by at least two. Uh... Uh, yeah, I think they will, considering the Raiders got exposed last week by the Jet, no, by the by the Redskins. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll be a bounce back week. Khalil Mack has at least one sack. Yeah, he definitely will. Um, Khalil Mack is a beast. Uh, yeah, a lot of offensive tackles have trou have trouble with him, so I think you know he's one of the better. Linebackers slash defensive ends in the NFL. So up next, Colts at Seahawks. Seahawks win by at least 13. I'm gonna go with True because the Colts don't even have Andrew Luck, and they are not that good. So we're gonna go with the Seahawks here. Up next, we have. I think the challenge was um, that the Colts QB will have at least. 200 yards and no interceptions. I mean, he'll have the yards, I believe, but there's no way he's going to have zero interceptions against Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor. No way. So, up next, we're going to have... Uh, man, I hate scrolling all the way down every time. Jimmy Graham has at least seven receptions and no interceptions. Hmm. Um, Jimmy Graham... I don't know. I think that's false. He, I mean, he'll have some receptions, but not seven, considering Seahawks is more of a run-heavy team. So let's see. Up next, we have Seahawks defense has at least two sacks. I believe they will. Uh, Seahawks defense has always been very ferocious. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Trick there. So let's see what we have next. Let's go all the way down here. So if you guys are going to be watching the games, uh, let me know 
uh, what you guys' predictions are down below in the comment section. Up next, we have the Redskins and the Chiefs. Two teams coming off wins, but I'm going to have to go with the uh, uh, Chiefs here. Alex Smith has been tearing it up so far this year, even though the Redskins just beat, you know, the Raiders. But, let's see. Tyreek Hill or Ryan Kerrigan will have at least one sack. I believe so. Uh, Ryan Kerrigan is a pretty good uh, linebacker as well. So, um, let me see. I think the next one was Tyreek Hill having at least 100 rushing and receiving yards. Definitely. Uh, Tyreek Hill is a beast. You know, he gets, you know, he's really fast. And uh, sometimes I'll hand him the ball and, you know, he'll run or he'll run off the screen plays, you know, or whatever. But, yep, he's a beast. Up next is Justin Houston, I think, having at least one sack. Um, I think he will. Um, Justin Houston's a beast. Uh, so, yeah, I'm having, I have him having one sack at least. So, I have some unopened packs. I'm just going to open up here. Um, nothing special. I just, you know, played a couple of weekend league games. I only won three games, you know. I'm, I didn't feel like playing too many more because sometimes I just get sick of sick of playing Madden all the time. So we got a gold there out of, I think, a silver pack. And uh, let's see, another silver pack. We got another gold there. Three silvers. Um, now on to pack number three. And we got a 77. That's a pretty good pull right there. And then up next we have this uh, Twitch Prime pack, which I have Richard Dent and an upgrade token. And that is all the packs I have. So let me know down below uh, what your team is and what your predictions are for the week. If you guys like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.